Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips with South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. And what we're looking at is a baby water moccasin. And this is this guy's probably only a day old, if that. He was probably just born not too long ago. And uh, the mother water moccasin, uh, they give live birth and they have birth of these about w once every two years. And they can have a litter of anywhere between eight and maybe 20 of these. And they have live birth, they don't, uh, they don't hatch out of eggs, and they have no supervision after they're born as well. They, they're out on their own, and, but they come fully equipped with a set of things and a, and a full sack of venom. And they also have the same attitude as their mother as well. It's a stand your ground snake. But I have determined that about 60% of the time they'll run from you, and the other 40% of the time they'll just sit there and they'll kind of sort of do this little display here. Let's see if I can get, see him flash that cotton mouth. You could really see it if it was a, a full adult. I mean, it's really, really white. And usually that's the behavior that I see whenever I encounter even a large one. Uh, they will, if, especially if it won't run, it will uh, flash its mouth wide open and maybe even wag its tail against the ground. Let's see if this one will do it. There, there he goes, just wagging a little bit. I don't know if you can see it either, but that tail is actually kind of a uh, yellow green. And that's, they'll actually sit still and wave that in the air and try to attract a lizard or maybe a frog to come over there and grab hold of it. And of course the snake will uh, reach around there and bite it and that'll be its next meal. And you can see where these guys get kind of confused with copperheads because look how brightly colored the snake is. And as they get older, they, they get really, really dark to, uh, to a chocolate brown. And I've seen some almost jet black. And But usually that's when they're about uh, three feet long or longer. Uh, the older they get, the less this banding you're going to be able to see and the more darker they'll become. And also they uh, float on top of the water um, they, there's a very buoyant snake, and that's another way you can kind of sort of tell the difference between a water snake and a water moccasin. This, they, the whole body's kind of like out of the water, and they uh, swim with their head pitched just like you see right here at about a 45 degree angle. And also, too, if you, uh, during the summertime, they, these guys are going to start becoming more and more nocturnal. You won't see them out much during the daytime. So at night, you really have to watch where you're walking because that's when they get most active, especially uh, from here till probably all the way to September. Uh, but if you're ever unfortunate enough to get bit by one of these, uh, don't try to kill the snake and bring it to the emergency room. Uh, they have a universal, universal anti-venom for this. And not only that, but there's a very high risk that you could get bit again. And uh, one of these things I've noticed about these water moccasins is they can do a real good job of playing dead. And I'm talking about dead to the point to where you really think they are. Uh, they can be cut clean in half and still bite you. And so just don't never touch them because they're, they're, they're a very dangerous animal. Uh, they're more venomous than the copperhead, but less so than the rattlesnake. And let's see, there he goes. Show me those, show me that, those white, pearly whites, there you go. And this is what I mean by stand your ground. You see, he's standing his ground. He's saying, telling me, you get back. You stay away from me. But he'll, he'll also try to get away too, and that's what he's doing right here. He's kind of sort of doing both. You see how whippy this snake is. It's, real, it's a real whippy snake. And they don't move too well on the ground like they can in the water. And that's where he's trying to head back to. And I won't help him get there. Look, it's a long way to the water, so I'm gonna help you out. So anyway, I hope this has been somewhat informative. And also check out my other YouTube videos on snakes. I, I got a real good one that kind of covers most of the ones we have down here. Hey, kind of reminds me of Cobra, see him wag, uh, beat that tail against the ground. It's kind of doing a kind of a both dual scene here.
sand. Back up. Get away. I'm trying to get to the water. See that tail wagon? Almost looks like a sidewinder when they're this young. But that's that 45 degree pitch, and that's kind of kind of a tell-off for me that uh, that it's a water moccasin. Plus, this, you could tell by the head too; it's actually pretty big. Now, the, the better example of this would be on an adult, a fully adult uh, water moccasin. They really do have a big head. Okay, well I'm gonna get this guy back to the water. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this, and uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and also like the Facebook page because we've got uh, different um, videos on both those forums. Y'all take care guys, stay safe, and watch where you're walking. These darn mosquitoes are horrible too.